Hi YouTube and welcome to this video on how to make a missing system using this, a water fire extinguisher. This bad boy is 9 litres and costs me around £30. And the great thing about a fire extinguisher is that the pressure goes up to 13 bar, which is the equivalent to about 180 psi. Now your average premium missing system like Miss King or Exoterra Multi produces a working pressure of around 75 psi to 85 psi. So this bad boy is pretty heavy duty, as you can see with this. It's very, very powerful and it's 9 litre capacity as well. So the first step is to just release all the pressure from this. Some of the fire extinguishers also have fire retardant inside them, which can be harmful to plants and wildlife. So they need to make sure this is emptied and thoroughly rinsed out. All that pressure. Incredible. So now what you want to do is we're going to take the top off. This needs to be rotated anti-clockwise. But sometimes you just can't get the the uh, strength to do it or the purchase. Especially when it's slightly pressurized. So what we're going to do is use an adjustable spanner. Let's come closer. We've got a pressure gauge here that tells us the pressure and then this, we can use this as a fulcrum to turn the top off. So I'm going to attach my adjustable spanner here and I'm going to turn it anti-clockwise. There we go. Once you've got the first bit off, it's a lot easier then to, to turn. So let's turn it around, see if that's in it. You hear all the pressure. So this is what it looks like. You've got a long hollow tube going down with a slight filter at the bottom. And the pressure of air is forced through this valve here, which is closed, but as soon as you open this, it opens the valve. So you can, what we do is push pressured air through here. While this is filled up, it creates um, a vacuum. And when this is open, the, the air just pushes all the water straight through this tube and, and straight through the hose. What I want to do is just make sure it's all um, rinsed out and filled up and then join me for the next step. So once you've finished filling up the water extinguisher, we're going to re-pressure the cylinder with air. So we need to untie this hose and to unscrew it. And then we're going to be using this fitting here that you can purchase from Amazon. We're going to screw this to the orifice. Make sure it's very tight because we don't want any air to escape. So we're just going to tighten this in. There we go. The next step, we're going to attach our tubing that you can also buy from Amazon. Go straight in there, make sure it's nice and tight. As you can see, it's very secure. Now what we're going to do is use a non-return valve. Now, a non-return valve is simply a valve that only allows water or air to push through one direction. So in this, it, air can go in, but it can't come out. So what we're going to do is attach this to the hose. Now what we've got inside this valve, just get it out, is actually the tyre stem valve from a bike tyre. It's where the dust cap goes on on the top of there to allow the air going into the tyre. So I've just sawed this off. A, a normal road bike tyre, you need the the screw tight so that it can attach to certain air pumps. But this isn't necessary. If you look on the description in the video, you can see a link that it's a direct fitting that you can screw straight in. So you won't need to use this, but if you've got a spare bike tyre, you can save you some money. This is a Schrader valve converter, which you can also purchase. And all this does is allow you to attach it to more types of air pump. So certain pumps like this air compressor that you can purchase only allows a Schrader valve to attach to it. It'll only attach through that way. It wouldn't be able to attach through the normal road bike fitting. Um, but you don't need to worry about that because you can just purchase the actual inline fitting. If you want to bring the camera a bit closer. Um, so here's the non-return valve. 
so the air gets stopped here so you can go through that way it's going to push this this pushes straight in because it's six mil so it's perfect the tubing goes into the end here you need to make sure it doesn't go too far in because if it goes too far in you can open up the valve that's in the middle and you don't want that to be open because you only want to push air through here rather than open it because then it backfires and water floods through here so instead of using your normal electricity compressor I'm just going to use a standard hand, hand pump inflator focus onto this so when you're using the non-return valve you want to have your airflow going towards the arrow rather than away this is the right way to do it that's going to allow air straight through here they won't allow any pressure going back okay so we're going to attach this here and attach our Schrader valve on here and this plugs in but make sure not to do it too far in because you'll interrupt with the check valve in the middle it's going to tighten that on so that's all ready now our cameraman's going to open the valve stop so that was too far in sorry too far out so we have to put it a tiny little bit further in There we go, cameraman again. So that's stop. Film. So cameraman, go. There we go. So that's going in. You can hear the cylinder rattling with the air being forced through it. So most missing systems go up to about 75, 80 psi, but this can go well past 150. So it all depends on what sort of pressure you want to be working with. I'm just going to fill it up to 85 for now. If you can let go camera on. There we go. Take this off. And that's, this is now a pressurised misting system. So we can pull out a nozzle from somewhere. So we're going to use the TerraVape DIY Herbs nozzles. This is rigid tubing. The uh, flexible tubing goes through this entrance, but because it's rigid tubing, we can take this insert off, put it straight in the side. I'm just going to turn it on. Just let it get some air through it. There we go. See that? Fine mist. Now that, that's only with a tiny bit of pressure generated. If I take my hand off the trigger, it still produces, purely because of the pressure that's built up on the tube. But you can do an even finer mist by putting more pressure inside the cylinder. People struggle to get an awful lot of pressure with the hand um, pump. You'll have to use an air compressor or something like that. But it provides a mist that's the same as all the leading brands. So the TerraVape nozzles are perfect for closed off vivariums, but if you want uh, a large spread of mist from, for a greenhouse for instance, you won't want as fine a mist, so you can just use your standard greenhouse misting nozzles. Now we can get this here, I've got one that you can purchase from Amazon, if you come closer to the camera so they can see it. With this one, the tube usually sticks into the side, it's a T, and it comes out of this orange part which can be loosened or tightened but you can actually take this off and it's a perfect six millimeter hole so we can put this straight into the tubing just force it in tightly and then we've got a large misting nozzle uh, if we tighten it it'll just go a bit finer it's a bit too fine a bit too tight yeah, right. Keep filming. right so now we've got our missing system we need to automate it so what we're going to use is a solenoid valve that you can purchase from Amazon let's come closer on this 
So this is a valve that's normally closed and as soon as 12 volts of electrical current goes through it, it opens up the valve so that it can release the pressured air or water. So it's a 12 volt DC, so you'll need a 12 volt DC adapter. This is an example of an adapter, it's not 12 volts but it gives you an idea of what they look like. Um, so it basically converts AC, which is your standard household plug socket, into a direct current through this wire here. Once you cut open this wire, it'll reveal two wires, red and black. And that's what you need to attach to these red and black wires here. So for the purposes of this video, I'm just using this voltage meter slash battery charger. And what this does is converts the AC current into DC. So we don't need to use a, an a, adapter because this is adapting the current for us. So I'm going to attach the red wire. I'll just unscrew this. So I'm making sure the power's off at the moment because I don't want to electrocute myself. So the black wire is connected. You want to come closer so people can see. So the black wire is connected to the black using this clasp. And then the red wire is going to connect to the corresponding red wire here. For the purpose, you'd usually want to either solder this or use a wire connector or clasp, which is thermoplastic. It's, it prevents burning and, and um, it's a lot safer than doing this. But I'm just doing this for the purposes of this video, just to show you how to do it. So I get the bit of electrical tape. This goes on like this. So I want to make sure no bare wire is exposed because that can electrocute you. So I've got this here. If you have a look on the packet, it says the in is where the wire comes out and the out is the, the other side. So as you can see, the, the pressured water needs to go in through here and it will be expelled out this way. So I'm using these fittings, you can also purchase from Amazon, using the links below. I'm going to screw these in. I'm using some thread tape to make sure, which is this PTFE thread seal tape, to make sure that it's really tight in. I'll just quickly nip and get a spanner, properly tighten it in. So you might want to use a spanner for this bit. Right, I've got too much thread tape on this. It's particularly hard to get in now. I'll just get that whole screw in. So that'll be water tight now, it's very tight. And the tape is going to it as well. On the other side. about as tight as I can actually get it. So now I'm going to just chop a little bit of length off here just for demonstration purposes so about this. So remember the in is where the wire is so this goes here. Make sure it's really tight in. And then this length is going out. And then I've got all the electrical components are off. I'm just going to test this. So if we need to test that this is definitely blocking off. So I'm going to release the pressure. This slight this isn't on exactly tight, I can hear some pressure from that. I need to make sure that's really screwed in. Listen for the air escaping. There's no um, no escapes there, so that's fine. So now we can go to power it on. 
when this powers on, water will just fling through here. But we need to make sure this is triggered. This engages the pressure and that releases it. So we're going to use a bit of tape. You might want to use gaffer tape, standard grey tape, just to keep this shut. Keep this all around. So that's constantly engaged now. And then we're going to plug our missing nozzles into the end. And when the power goes on, it's going to allow the water to flush through here. So I'll turn this on. Just allow the air to some of the air to escape and there we go, we've got water. Turn it off. Off. and slowly go off because the pressure builds up from here and that comes on again turn power on there we go so to automate it all you need to do is set your DC adapter onto a seconds timer um, that you can purchase online I've also got a video coming out where you can use one of these relay cycle timers I'll show you how to program these and they can be a lot cheaper, they're about £8 but you can get some seconds timers online for quite cheap so yeah, I'll just give you one more little thing there you go, and This that's using minimal voltage, just 12 volts at a time and the pressure is all generated from here so yeah, thanks for watching so now we're going to apply this misting system with one of my red-eyed tree frog tanks so we're going to use our fire extinguisher misting system and just plug it into the mist king tubing and the mist king nozzle here you can just come down so you can show the viewers so now we're going to turn it on if the cameraman would like to come and film the tank so we're going to turn it on there we go and what you'll notice is there's absolutely no vibrations or anything there's just pure mist then we're going to use the terra vapes I'll just unplug that the cameraman just wants to bring it here as you can see you can see the nozzle there mm. camera Very fine mist. Yep. Right, thanks for.